all right everybody welcome to yet another ionic tutorial and in this tutorial we'll be finally implementing some sort of styles to our application and uh, pretty much making it a little bit nice and uh, we'll be making use of this angular svg round progress bar by chris Petto and it's his github's repository and it's pretty nice actually i just checked out the demo and that's pretty much what we have wanted for our application you can see that it just nicely increments and the numbers actually don't actually jump straight to the final number they actually just decrement just like you want them to well we have got a bunch of options here as well like semicircle and responsive which we would like to make use of for devices like mobile phones because you want to make your application responsive and then we have these rounded yeah we might make use of that as well then clockwise gradient pretty much you can do everything and these are the parameters we can just customize them from angular itself so what i'm gonna make use of here is you can just either install this by a package npm yes you can do that it will just go into your node modules right here or you can just pretty much download this file well I guess this seems neater for application like this because it's kind of not so large application so I can actually just copy this thing instead of just saving it actually and just create a new file out of it let's just say this is progress bar .js and close our application inside index just include your script src js slash progress bar dot js and you'll be good to go now inside your app dot js what i want to make use of is pretty much let's just refer to what this guy is saying so it says that make use of this dependency in angular module and that's what we make use of that's why we make use of such things so I need ionic and again something like this angular svg round progress bar all right now we have got these options okay now instead of this I can just view the source of this page and right here we can see the same thing sample progress bar right here so we need to get sort of this application and uh, do we need that svg i guess yes we do so let's just copy the svg as well and for the process ng cloak let me just take a look uh, well that's not very really helpful so let's just copy out this whole progress wrapper and inside our index.html let's just replace a thing or two let's just say this is our progress now and uh, get style what does this get style do get style scope.get style transform okay so it's doing some sort of animation stuff okay sweet all right now precise current times max so we don't need this actually what we need is the number of seconds left and that is pretty much our my timer right here so let's just see if we can get rid of this get style also now for round progress we have max as max all right actually we would like to have this as my timer only so the maximum it could go is my timer and the current would be um let's just say my timer but i want this to be my timer fixed so let's just say this is my timer fixed my timer fixed is actually 10 also because we are just hooking up with my timer so it's just changing so your maximum value will also change so your kind of your application would kind of look like a freezed circle only 
Okay, so now we have got this color, BG color radius. I want it to be responsive actually. So responsive is a boolean or is it just responsive or not responsive? It's a boolean so I guess we need to write in true here. True. Then duration would be I guess pretty much let's just set it here only hundred and uh, let me just take a look if it's in seconds or something milliseconds looks like so let's just change this to 500 animation is uh, where is it the easing function that would be used while animating now ease out cubic is the default value but we could add all of these so well you need to know the sort of graphs for all of these functions to understand how the animation works and I guess I have pretty much used cubic breezer curves right here while making use of WebKit animations and it's pretty sweet and in one of my extensions also this one right here so the icons expanding from top to bottom this is a sort of cubic breeze curve if I can show you uh, yeah this one this this is the equation for this cubic breezer transition so that's pretty much similar what would happen to our animation so here are the docs and uh, let's just leave it out to ease out cubic only so let's just get rid of what we had here this one offset what is offset the margin between the edge of the circle and the SVG element okay mostly used when nesting progress bar if you pass and inherit the offset will be calculated okay so let's just leave it to zero only for now animation delay milliseconds to wait no not really i don't want to wait on render this seems interesting callback function that gets executed um not really what we are looking for because we already have our functions ready for that so we can just get rid of that as well then we have stroke as a specifies the circle's thickness so let's just keep it to 20 and obviously i'm not making use of variables here just like these guys are made use of because your application shouldn't probably change things like your circles width or something like that unless you are very much into graphics and just want to animate the hell out of it so the next thing is radius and uh, pretty much i guess with response uh, radius won't work very well A radius of the circle but anyways let's just set it to um i don't know is it, is it in pixels or what okay so let's just set it to 100 for now bg color would be the color of circles background we'll just see to it let's just set it to this one and color would be the color of the current value of the circle and uh, let's just keep it to black zero 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 here we go Alright, pretty much looks good on the local host. If you see, then this looks way bigger than it should. So, pretty much, we need to scale this down a little bit. And to do that, what we can make use of is actually this progress wrap, or let's just wrap it into another ID, div ID, big circle and div okay stop so we have inside css what was the id name big circle width or let's just say yeah let's just say width of um 60 percent and margin zero auto i'm just writing in percentages because on the devices we don't really know what the screen size is actually so it would be best on to really on percentages so if I just scale this down application a little bit you can see the application is pretty responsive so if I start the timer you can see pretty much it 
works very well just like we would like it to work and that's pretty much cool so you can see that the timer is completed and uh, you can see that a bit of things are off aligned as well like this 10 should probably appear here and uh, we should get rid of this 10 right here and eventually we will just fix them in the next tutorial and if you like this one then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching